hello guys uh, welcome back to my channel my name is Vishal in this video let's have a look on the align tool uh, in the edge actions of the modeler tool so here I need to select two edges while I'm you know selecting this or applying this tool firstly I need to pick my Z modeler I can access that from the brush palette or I can press B Z and M to access the Z modeler so it is asking me to select uh, the edge strip which is basically seen here you could able to see edge strip so edge strip is nothing but selecting two edges which lie on one poly loop again one more condition is that if you select uh, two edges which are lying on a, a flat plane it may not show you any effect so i need to select the two edges where the poly loop is changing its angle so you could able to see it's changing the angle here so i'm going to select the edge here and then that's the first edge now i'm going to select the second edge click and drag then you should be able to see get the curvature out and then you get a curvature in if not it's in the middle a flat plane there so if you could able to see there are different types of shapes which we get while i'm dragging this so bezier curve is this if i uh, choose the small round corners there click that and click that and drag you should be able to see that curvature is uh, very short and then it's becoming almost flat around this while I, if i select the circle you see a completely different result there it's giving me more rounded shape and also we have a straight line in this which is going to give me the perfect straight line here so we we can just push or pull this curvature as per our requirement you have interactive curvature which we're doing right now just clicking and dragging and then you get that interactive curvature uh, you can also just click first edge and then the last edge and it automatically takes a value and that happens only when you just pick the specified curvature otherwise so just click click and then you get the curvature okay so if you don't pick the specified curvature but still in when you are in interactive curvature mode just click and click instead of dragging you get the same result without shifting to the specified curvature there the the difference is like i'm just uh, clicking and dragging in the la second click there so you have a norm aligned to normal where all the faces are moving away from their faces in the normal direction by which you're getting this nice curvature but if you just choose align to tangent the difference is completely uh, different okay the result is completely different here and you should be able to see it's more giving me an effect of beveled corner or roundness for this particular shape override position uh, in general when i just click and drag you, you could able to see the total strip is contiguous there's no effect on the model but when i choose additive position and then you should be able to see where the angle is changing that angle is getting broken uh, again when i just click and drag you should be able to see it clearly that is taking that shape we try to explore this shape on different model also uh, we have variable width and constant width there's no much difference between these tools as the width is concerned while i'm creating uh, the alignment so you can ignore that let me just uh, pick a polygon sphere okay and then try the same tool as i could generally see here click that and click that and then you should be able to get the curvature there now let me just go to the insert tool and then add few lines uh, between this now i'm going to select the align tool click and click and then you should be able to see the faces we, we are completely uniform no matter how the width is before uh, the alignment so let me just have a look on um, additive position and then try the same thing and you should be able to see the width is unaffected while i'm doing this alignment tool so that's what it is doing uh, in the additive position constant width uh, is not showing any effect let me try this with uh, additive position once okay so it's showing no effect let me try this with a constant width again it's showing no effect there in terms of width is concerned okay so this is what alignment tool is if you are aware of what is this variable width and constant width is doing please let us know in the comment section or you got any questions related to it let me know it and uh, if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe my channel thank you